Did you have aspirations of being a professional musician, or did you just love to Absolutely. play music? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would. I went to summer camp at the university, and they had some good teachers, and I would sometimes play twelve hours a day. Oh, wow. And they played my gums were practically bleeding, and I loved it. But when I was sixteen, I, I looked in the mirror one day, and I said. Will you ever be as good as Coltrane? Oh, not <laughs> Wait, you talked yourself. Nobody will ever be. Yeah. Wait, how are you, the president, talking yourself out of your own dream that young? Right. Oh, I didn't talk myself. I, I was conflicted. Okay. I only, I wanted to do three things in my life. I wanted to be a doctor that helped people that didn't have access to health care. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to, you know, be a rich doctor. I wanted to get the out clinic, there. Yeah. I wanted to be Paul Farmer when I grew up. I, <laughs> I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a musician, and I wanted to be in politics because I could see when I was a boy how much conflict there still was in America. Uh, So I I remember it like it was yesterday. I was 16, looking in the mirror, just begun to shave, felt big. Uh, And the reason I ask this question is you couldn't make a living as a jazz musician in the 60s unless you did the clubs. You know, nobody had these massive record contracts. You didn't, jazz musicians didn't feel, you know, it wasn't like Kenny G later made a lot right. of money, you know, going around. You couldn't make a living unless you did the clubs. And so your chances of becoming addicted to drugs were roughly three times your chances of having a successful family and raising kids that were healthy. I mean, you had to, it was a big risk, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as Coltrane and lots of others found out. Right. He was a genius. What's Love Supreme is a production of iHeartRadio.